Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan. And the topic of this 10 minute moan is pointing out that it turns out that when the environmentalists wanted the boats in the ocean to have less fumes and less aeroplanes to be flying in the sky, it turns out that both of these things actually help keep the planet cool. Now what we're about to do is start doing experiments to try and replicate the effect that those two things gave us because scientists are now saying these things helped keep the temperature down. Now this is nuts, right? Because this has came about with the story that came out last night and a few people have covered it today where we're going to be doing experiments in the UK. The government are just about to give the green light for experiments in the UK to dim the effects of the sun, basically, right? But in the article, these scientists who are going to be doing these things have now explained that the reasons that they want to try them out is when we used to have fumes coming out of funnels in boats in the middle of the sea, they actually helped form brighter clouds than when we don't. And when you have bright clouds, it helps reflect the sunlight and actually keeps the planet cooler. And the only reason they found this out was when they started putting in legislation to reduce the amount of stuff coming out of funnels and boats, temperature of the world rose. And the same for planes. And in this article, they explain what happens when aviation fuel um, and pollutants from it are in the atmosphere at higher altitudes and how it helps form things that prevent the Earth from warming up. Now, before I go through the story, this is the kind of thing that amazes me, often amazes me. But me, as an untrained person, as just a normal person in the, um, you know, member of the community, can look at a story and see things that those writing the stories don't see because this would be the headline, right? So, it worries me that this story and most people are covering it, are going, we're going to start experimenting to try and dim the sun. And the, 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 the government are buying into this sort of stuff because I think it's pretty dangerous with my limited knowledge. Granted, right? But that's how it's been portrayed. But as soon as I read the story, I seen something completely different in the story. And that, that confuses me that people who are paid to identify news, um, report on the news, and give opinion in the news. I've all sort of missed this part of it. And I think it's pretty bonkers. So, the story. Now, I'm going to use, I'm sure it's been covered in other places, right? But I'm going to use the Telegraph as reference for this. Who last night put out, late last night, put out a story. Experiments to dim the sun will be approved within weeks. Scientists consider brightening clouds to reflect the sunshine among ways to prevent runaway climate change. Now, this is a bit that the boats helped with. Right? They didn't know this until they, they, they sort of dampened the, the fumes coming out of boats. But the stuff that that put into the air made the clouds brighter, the low-level ones, and that therefore reflected more sun. Isn't it mental? All these things we thought, or we were told, these are bad aviation fuel. All um, the, the um, exhaust things coming off of boats, that's, that's terrible, that, for the environment. Turns out, was saving the environment. So experiments to dim sunlight to fight global warming will be given the green light by the government within weeks. Outdoor field trials, which could include injecting aerosols into the atmosphere or brightening clouds to reflect sunlight, are being considered by scientists as a way to prevent runaway climate change. ARIA, the Government Advanced Research and Invention Funding Agency, has set aside £50 million for projects which will be announced in the coming weeks. Professor Mark Symes, the programme director of ARIA, said there would be small controlled outdoor experiments on particular approaches. We will be announcing who we have given funding to within a few weeks, and when we do so, we'll be making clear when any outdoor experiments might be taking place. One of the missing pieces in the debate was physical data from the real world. Models can only tell us so much. Everything we do is going to be safe by design, 
Yeah? This is nature you're trying to bend, right? We have absolutely committed to responsible research, including responsible outdoor research. We have strong requirements around the length of time experiments can run for and the reversibility, and we won't be funding the release of any toxic substances substances into the environment. Well, that's a mental thing to say when later on you tell us how ships helped prevent global warming. Geoengineering projects will seek to artificially alter the climate. This is us pretending that this hasn't happened before. Have proven controversial, with critics arguing they could bring damaging knock-on effects as well as being an unhelpful distraction for lowering emissions. However, scientists are increasingly concerned that carbon dioxide levels are not falling fast enough and that further action may be needed to prevent catastrophic warming. This is this catastrophic warming that we've been hearing about for ages. This is the thing that we used to call global warming, and then when they realised the planet wasn't warming up, we changed to climate change. That old chestnut. One major area of research is sunlight reflection methods, which include stratospheric aerosol injections. This sounds as if something we might be already doing. Whereby tiny particles are released into the stratosphere to reflect sunlight. Another potential solution is marine cloud brightening, in which ships would spray sea salt particles into the sky to enhance the reflectivity of low-flying clouds. In recent decades, experts noticed that the clouds above shipping, shipping routes were far brighter than usual, a pollution caused them, as pollution caused them to become more reflective, bringing an overall dimming effect. This is class. This cooling from ships' fumes was so marked that when international regulations were enacted to curb sulfur dioxide emissions in 2020, it caused a spike in global warming. Scientists believe. Right? This is brilliant. Right? This is where people like me have been saying all along that you're, you're saying, like, uh, CO2. We need CO2. If we don't have CO2, we don't have any green plants, right? That's quite simplistic way of looking at it, but that's kind of how it works. And if the CO2 level got too low, and not that much lower than it is just now, by the way, we would see plants and trees die, right? But the other thing that's good at, because um, trees need it, that's why trees are great filters, because they take all this stuff out of here and produce oxygen, right? They're actually a great air filter. But we're chopping these things down to put solar panels and saying it's because of a drive for net zero. Just plant more trees. Then you get the best of both. But no, let's not do that. Anyway, where did we get to? Professor Jim Haywood of Atmospheric Science at Exeter University said, if you inject small particles into clouds, you can brighten them, hence reflecting more sunlight back to space. How do we know this will work? Well, there are a couple of very strong pieces of evidence. Ship emissions from the smokestack into the marine environment led to bright lines and clouds over the ocean. Then we stopped it in 2020. Then there was a volcanic eruption in Iceland in 2014 which spilled out a lot of sulphur dioxide. What it does is it brightens the clouds and cools the planet. What we need to do is some form of field experiments. Well, that's quite easy. See these boats? Get them back to where they were five years ago. That would sort it out, because you're saying it was fine when they were putting this sulphur into the air. So you're going to do it now and still have the boats running in green stuff. That makes no sense whatsoever. Other ideas for general geoengineering ge include seeding cirrus clouds to allow more heat to escape into space. Currently, the wispy high altitudes clouds last, uh, act as a blanket, trapping in heat. Dr. Sebastian Esman, the senior lecturer in sustainable aviation at Imperial College London, nonetheless, said, every time you fly, sulphur, which is naturally present in jet fuel, is emitted into the lower most stra um, lowermost stratosphere, causing a small cooling effect. This is the thing they're trying to do away. They're trying to tell us, don't fly because of global warming. And now we're finding out that actually flying and the jet fuel 
and the bad stuff that's in it, because we're told it's bad, uh, actually causes a cooling effect. Staying up to date with events around the world can be difficult, where it's impossible to consult a single source for the full story. Narratives that shape public opinion often just reinforce media and corporate backed vested interests. It's hard to know what information to trust. See what the media is exaggerating, sensationalising, over or under reporting. That's why I've been using Ground News. Ground News is an app and website that combines news from around the world in one place so you can compare coverage. For every news source, you can see if it has any political bias, how reliable the reporting is and who owns them. They even have a blind spot feed that highlights news disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum. Take a data-driven view on the news and stay current. Get news from thousands of sources worldwide in one place. I've been using Ground News to help me get all the world's news in one place and give a more balanced opinion on what we read and viewing who is telling us the truth and who isn't. Subscribe via my link to get 40% off the Vantage subscription. It's the one I use to get unlimited access to every feature. Your subscription can not only help my channel, but also help Ground News, as it makes the media landscape more transparent. You could not make this up. Similarly, aircraft contrails cause accidental cirrus clouds. Modification, but in this case, accidentally causing rather than preventing or thinning cirrus clouds. These points to the fact this points to the fact that theoretically to cool the planet with current day technology, but there are many practical questions that could and would need to be answered before we could be done at scale. Experts are hopeful that if experiments prove a success, they could be scaled up and implemented within 10 years, as well as outdoor experiments. ARIA will also be funding new modelling studies, indoor tests, climate mon monitoring, engaging public attitudes to geoengineering. Now, this is absolutely fantastic because... So what these scientists have been telling us over the last five or ten years is you need to be more... Um, less pollutants off the boats in the ocean and flying's bad for you. And it turns out, by decreasing those things, you'd actually raise the temperature. But we've still to believe that we need to do everything we need to do to get to net zero or the world's going to end. Can you understand why I have some issues with this? When the very same people that have been telling us about the boats and about the planes, because if the temperature needs to come down, done away with these, if you well, done away with the boats thing, and if we stop the aeroplanes flying, guess what? Temperatures will go up. You people are making a mockery of this net zero. All you're doing is creating another industry that we actually don't need at the expense of all our other industries. Keep the planes flying, keep the boats going in the, the, the ocean, and guess what? The planet is cooler. What you'll need to do now is if you do away with planes, you do away with the boats because you've already seen this, the, what it's happened with the boats. We've seen a rise in temperature. So we do away with them. We then go, oh, we've got a climate emergency we need to attend to. We need to bring it back down. When you actually had something there that you didn't like that was doing that all along. Absolutely mental. So there we go. Turns out, smelly boats, with smelly engines, and aeroplanes in the sky, cool the planet. Who'd have thought it? Right? So, if you want other people to see this, you can do one, two, or three of the following things. Hit the like button, leave some comments, and hit share. Doing any of those, or all of those, will help this video get put in front of more people. If you've not already done so, please hit the subscribe and the notification bell for the channel. However, the most important thing of all, unless you're the type of person that gets us to take the emissions out of boats, tell us to fly less, because if we don't, we're going to blow up the planet and it'll burn, when in effect what you've done is actually raise the temperature through your your, your, need, your deeds, right? Then not you, but... Everyone else, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.